Hey guys, welcome back to another video this week. I did show up on Monday this week as well because I missed Saturday's upload just because my sister was in town. So I decided I would go ahead and put two videos up for you this week just to kind of make it up. So if you haven't seen my pre-fall feminine capsule wardrobe, I will leave that linked above so you can go watch that. So for today's video, I actually want to share with you some creative ways that you can layer up outfits for fall and beginning stages of fall. Not heavy layers just yet. I wanted to share some really pretty feminine and soft outfits that combine those really pretty summer dresses with your basic fall layering essentials. So I have some really pretty pre-fall outfits to share with you and we can talk about fall now because it is officially September. So, but the other thing that I want to share with you in this video is actually that I have just purchased my fall winter coat and it is the most elegant, classic coat I have ever seen in my life and I'm so glad that I ended up getting this one. I shared a couple videos back that I have been looking for my winter coat and I wanted it to be one that would really reflect my style and one that I can reach for year after year. I'm going to share that with you in just a second but before I do I really quickly want to introduce myself to those of you who are new watching this video. I have a new video for you every Saturday and everything here on this channel is very romantic and feminine. I love that soft girly style as well so if you really enjoy that type of content and you're looking for outfit inspiration you want to be introduced to new brands don't forget to subscribe and I click that notification bell as well because that will let you know what time on Saturday my videos up for you. I also have to throw out a quick disclaimer if you hear lots of noise in the background there is construction going on right outside my window and i'm trying to film today it is what it is i really hope that you can hear it in the background i can hear it and it's driving me insane so i really really hope you can hear it i'm going to start with the coat first because i just i can't contain myself anymore i couldn't even wait to unbox it with you all i'm sorry i unboxed it myself and this is the coat <laughs> I like I just oh I want to scream so I was actually introduced to this coat brand on Pinterest it's called Santini this coat is in their style and a fair to remember it's the 100% wool and faux fur coat so the one that they have on their website it's actually in this really pretty brown color what I was looking for was a solid pink coat that I can wear with everything I was actually planning on purchasing the an American in Paris with the color in Rosa because I loved that light pink. That pink is perfect. I actually asked them if they would make the An Affair to Remember coat in the Rosa color. And they did it. Like they were so nice about it too. And I actually got them custom made. So I had it made with my measurements and everything with the length that I wanted. Price was actually much more reasonable than the Love Shack Fancy coat that I tried on. But I want to get into the details of the coat because I know some of you are looking into purchasing a coat as well. I can actually leave the measurements that I sent for this coat just so that you know the size that I have. I think it's technically classified as a medium, but I did get um, the shoulders exactly to my measurements. Had them add a little bit of length to the coat just because I am tall taller and 5'10". I wanted to make sure that it hit at the right length for me and that it'll look right with my mini styles. So the whole style of coat is very classic and I liked the looser style of it. But one thing that I wanted to mention that I really liked about this coat and that drew me in was the sleeves are looser. So you can actually have that puff sleeve and like that really pretty balloon sleeve. In the fall we're layering up as well with sweaters. So if I have like a thicker sweater underneath it, it won't be uncomfortable because I've noticed with that in past coats that I've tried and even with that Love Jack Fancy coat that I tried on a couple of videos back the sleeves were a little snug and I want to have room for those puff sleeves so this one is a little bit looser and it comes a little bit further up on my arms like right here so if I have a frilly cuff that I want to kind of peek through at the bottom of the coat it can really really help give like a very elegant layers look but also the other reason why I went for this coat over the other one that I was looking at the um American in Paris one. I actually wanted the lighter faux fur collar because I want to be able to wear this early on in the fall season as well, not just winter. This coat also has the pearl buttons, which is very similar to the, the Love Shack Fancy one. It also has the cuffs that I was looking for that I mentioned as well. So everything that I was looking for in a fall winter coat, this coat has it. Those little details were things that I just couldn't compromise on the coat that I wanted to purchase. And those are things that I wanted and this coat has them. I also love that it isn't bulky because a lot of times with winter coats, they're just so big that you just feel like you're taking up the entire room. This one, I feel like it just layers so lightly and yet you're still warm. And also this shade of pink is so soft. It's like a blush pink. It's not bright pink. It's not too pale of a pink. I think this is just the perfect shade of pink 
like and I really think that this is my best investment for my wardrobe and for the fall winter season. I just love how it instantly dresses up any outfit. You just throw this on and you feel so elegant. This is my coat purchase and I wanted to share this brand with you in case you hadn't heard it before. I feel like it's definitely up and coming. I've been hearing a lot more about it. You have to save up for it so you feel like you're getting something so special. It's made well. You can get it customized. You can pick the color that you want and it just, even the whole presentation. Oh, let me show you the box that it came in too, just so you can get an idea of like the whole experience and everything. Let me just put this down over here. Um, it comes in this box, this little pink box, which I'm actually, not little, big pink box. I think I'm actually gonna use this as storage in my closet because it's the perfect size actually. It has this little flip with a magnet in there. So it'll, it's perfect. Like. It's exactly what I needed actually for storing a couple things so you can even use the box. It's just a really good experience. You feel like you're getting something that you worked hard for and that's going to last forever in your wardrobe. So I really need to calm down in this video but I'm just so excited about it and I can't wait to start sharing more outfits with this. This is going to be in my everyday wardrobe as we get into fall. I'm gonna be pulling it out as soon as I can. Now we just need to get a pair of like leather gloves or something to go with this. But anyway, I just wanted to give a little bit more detail about this coat, the reasons I purchased it, why I think it's such a good fit for my wardrobe. And I wanted to mention it too because I know so many of you are looking for your classic winter coats as well. And this is just, just the fact that you can get it in neutral colors. I think it's just a really, really great option I had to share with you. So now that I've chatted with you about that coat that I've been desperate to share with you, I've been so excited about that. But now I wanna go ahead and get into how you can start layering up for the pre-fall season. The first layering idea I have for you is layering your favorite sweater, light sweater, on top of dresses. And it can come in all sorts of different forms, but one of the most classic styles of sweaters that I think is just an essential for the fall season is the cashmere sweater. So I have one that I just thrifted. It's a beautiful Ralph Lauren sweater that I just mentioned in my previous video, but oh my goodness, I am so excited about this sweater because it's the first cashmere sweater that I've ever purchased and it was so affordable. That's actually been the way that I've been adding cashmere to my wardrobe is by shopping for it secondhand. I got this one from Ralph Lauren off of The Real Real, but there's also Poshmark, there's Thread Up. There's some really great places to get secondhand cashmere. I haven't been disappointed yet in my cashmere purchases and it's just such a good material to invest in for the fall season. And it doesn't have to be expensive either. Taking a sweater, a light sweater like this, like cashmere sweater, whatever type of sweater you might have in your wardrobe and layering it on top of a dress. So one way that I did this is with this dress. This is a dress that I've had in my wardrobe. It's one of those like satin slip dresses. This one is from Topshop couple years back. I think I actually got it at Nordstrom, but it's that really pretty pink color that I love. Like, this is definitely summer dressy vibes, but throw on a sweater on top of it and it's something that I could wear to work. I think it looks so pretty with this neckline too. I think the two contrast, the two textures, like the two materials contrast very well. I think like bringing in that summer and even like a dress like this I think is definitely year round because you can use it as more of like a special occasion piece as well but if you throw on a light layer like this like a light cashmere sweater it just looks really pretty and wearable. You could even if you wanted layer it underneath the dress but I think it's more comfortable and easy to throw on for like a work outfit or something just by throwing a sweater on top of the dress. You don't have to mess with straps. It's just kind of one of those cozy outfits that is definitely a pre-fall look. And I think they could definitely take this into the winter as well if you style it with boots, layer a coat on top of it, and you've got a really classy winter outfit. Another example of this that I wanted to share with you is actually this dress. This is a dress from Rugella and it has that tiered floral look looks very summery with that strapless style but once you take a sweater and layer it on top of it it just makes it look like it's a really cute midi skirt and actually one of you mentioned this idea in the comments because I was actually thinking more so of wearing like a blazer with this dress but one of you mentioned just throwing a sweater on top of it so I thought that was such a good idea I don't know why I didn't think of it myself this is why I need your suggestions because sometimes these just kind of slip over my head I don't know sometimes I just don't think of it it's just another way to get the wear from the pieces in your wardrobe and and finding different ways to bring them into each season is what I get excited about. This was another outfit idea I had with this sweater over the dresses type of 
look. So that is the first and I think one of the easiest ways that you can start bringing in your summer pieces into the fall season and start layering up and get that really pretty fall look from your outfit. But the second piece that I think is such an essential for a fall transition wardrobe is a blazer. And blazers come in all sorts of different shapes and forms. You can get crop blazers, lighter blazers, wool blazers. The two that I'm going to share with you today are actually this wool blazer. This one I'm actually renting at the moment. And then I just recently purchased this floral blazer. So the first outfit that I came up with with the blazer as a layering piece is actually this little set. And I'm actually not sold on these pants. I think I may end up sending these back. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure how much wear I'm going to get from these. I love the print, but I feel like right now I need to invest in more like the leather pants or like the wool tailor trousers. I've been looking at a lot of thrifted wool trousers on the Real Real that I think I might look into, but I am definitely planning on keeping the blazer just because I think it's just one that really reflects my style very well with that print. Both of these are on sale, by the way, and at a great price at the moment. So I'm going to leave both linked down below. They're both from Karen Millen. Actually, this would look really nice. So this is just a cashmere sweater. Could layer it with these and these are definitely my my style like i love that unique floral print that kind of stands out but it's in muted soft pink colors with, a, with the print on there i need to think about it a little bit more but i wanted to show this blazer and the the pants as a set just because i think it's a really cool like pre-fall look because it's that whole work attire type of thing but it's it's not boring at all it is really fun and peppy and really soft but it's very comfortable as well. A way that I think would look really pretty with this blazer is with my wide leg linen pants that I've mentioned so many times. So I actually styled these two together and I think it's such a pretty look. I love this floral print. This blazer is amazing. I have never seen anything like this blazer. I think this one fits so well into the pre-fall season. It doesn't get too cold here in Cape May so I'm not worried about not being able to wear this and getting the wear from it. So I think this is a really good fit for my wardrobe as well. Of course I'm going to go for floral print and a soft pink color. And then the other blazer that I wanted to share with you that is definitely more so for when it gets a little bit more chilly out is this wool one. This is from Endless Rose. It's in a size medium and it's kind of meant to be one of those more boxy style blazers. It's heavy enough that it can act as a coat as well depending on what I decide to wear with it. Take a dress like this and layer it up with a wool blazer and you have such a beautiful unique outfit but you have those classic elements to it and i think with the waist and the neckline and just like this layered unique look just really pulls together so well and i i love coming up with outfits like this because i do not like to give up my dresses in the fall and winter and i always look for ways to wear them i mean you you invest money into them you should be able to wear them year round so i always try to find ways to bring my dresses into the fall season because i don't want to give them up so this is one way that i think i can definitely bring this dress into the fall season is just by layering a blazer like this and i like the material too because i think the materials once again contrast very well the wool brings in that fall look to the outfits while the dress is still nice and light and airy and you can still have that cheerful color prints and bring it into the fall season. It's very obvious that I love this print because this blazer is actually from the same collection as this dress. It was a collaboration with a botanical artist. All the outfits from that collection, like certain pieces really resonated with my style. So I felt like these two pieces at least were really good investments. Oh my goodness, I just thought of this. Would it be too much to wear that blazer with the dress and kind of like mix the print? Is that too much? Do the colors kind of clash? Oh, I think they might clash just a little bit. But anyways, let's get back to the wool blazer because I have one more outfit I wanted to share with you. I also quickly wanted to show the wool blazer and the rougella dress style together because this is actually the way that I was thinking about bringing this dress to the fall season. And I really like how the two look together, even just kind of like get thrown on your shoulders, and like maybe not even slipping my arms through the, the arm, the sleeves, but just kind of like layering it lightly on top. Yeah, I really, really like this look. This is kind of the way that I was thinking about wearing it. But then one of you suggested throwing a sweater on top of it and I was like, that's a really good idea too. So I'm liking my options with this dress. So layer up with a blazer. You don't have to tuck away your favorite summer dresses if you have a blazer. So another way that I think you can start layering up for fall is by just taking a classic button-up shirt or like maybe a button-up silk shirt, something that has like that button-up detail to it and wearing it underneath a dress. And one of my favorite ways 
that I have been actually wearing this recently has been with my favorite linen mini dress and then styling my silk blouse underneath it. This one has like the pearl buttons. It has the button up detailing that I always mention that I love the lace as well, but styling something like this and having the dress on top of it, I think it just gives that layered look. And I love these colors as well, keeping it neutral and soft and really bringing in that more feminine look to the outfit as well. I've shared this outfit a couple times, but it is one of my favorites right now because it's so wearable at the moment. It's still that fall look that I'm going for, but it's easily worn right now since we're still in very hot weather. But also another top that I've been styling with this has also been my pink silk top as well. It's the same idea basically. And once again, if you want to play it safe, I'd say definitely stick to neutral colors, but I wanted to have a little bit of fun with the pink. So another really creative way to start laying up for fall, but also with a very classic fall piece is with a cardigan because a cardigan really adds a lot of versatility. You can get really creative, but a cardigan is always going to add a little bit of that fall layering look to an outfit. It's a really easy way to go as well. And I have a couple of different outfit ideas for you. This is one of my classic transition into fall cardigans. This is one of those knit cardigans, but it has the bow strap so I can get that girly detail in my outfits. And this one is one that layers really nicely so I can throw it on top of a dress. I can wear it with high-waisted pants or maybe a midi skirt. So this one has a lot of different ways that I could style this one. But one that I wanted to show you is actually layered on top of my mini dress. So still getting that really soft, summery, light piece, but throwing a piece like this on top of it. And it just, it transitions so well into the fall season. I just, I love these two combined. This is my first time wearing this outfit, so I'm just really excited. I'll eventually have to tuck it away for the winter season, but it's just a really great transition piece. And it kind of one of, is one of my star pieces this time of year. Another crop cardigan that is also that like open knit style is also this one. This is one that I'm actually renting at the moment, just because I love this style of piece for layering this time of year. This is the For Love and Lemons cardigan. It has like the button detailing, the ruffles, that long sleeve to it, but it's very light and it looks really pretty just layered on top of a light dress. And actually the dress that I wanted to layer this on top of is a long sleeve dress that I've had in my wardrobe for a little while now. It's super light. It's actually one that I can get away with this time of year. I love this soft ivory. It has a really pretty floral print on it and it's it's like those like knit maxis that's kind of like um like a bodycon dress but it's super stretchy and light but layer this cardigan on top of it and you've got a little bit of that layering look going on and this is an outfit that i can actually wear right now i like that this sweater is cropped too because you still get that waist in there i also wanted to give you an idea of like a longer layered cardigan as well and this cardigan is actually like a very beachy style cardigan it actually fits really well into our cape may area it's like a hooded cardigan with that like once again open knit style. It's long sleeve, but it adds a little bit of a layer. And I layered this longer cardigan on top of my TJ Maxx slip dress. And I love how these two look together. A little bit more boho than I would normally go for, but actually that's just works really nice for my area with the beach and everything. And actually, if I wanted to romanticize this outfit a little bit, I thought it would look really cute if I styled this belt with the dress and cardigan as well. Add a little bit more of my unique romantic look to the outfit and I love it. I love how this one turned out. It has that corset style that I love with the top with them throw on something a little bit light, kind of effortless. Throw it on and you've got a really cute layered fall look. I love this one. I'm so glad that I combined these pieces together because I have completely overlooked this outfit so many times and this is going to be like my go-to outfit for the next couple days. Also, if I wanted to add more of like a fall look as well, I could always add in boots, like the lace up boots. And you've got a really cute, very trendy fall look going on here. I think adding in the belts, the floral belts, adds that romantic touch that I need in the outfit to make it my style. And then I wanted to show you one other outfit that you can get really creative using the cardigan as your layering piece. And one way to wear those cardigans is to wear them with like more summery pieces. So for example, this little tank top or little camisole that I just purchased, this is one that I thrifted off of the Real Real, and it has like those really pretty lace details to it. It's from Love Shack Fancy and there's a couple of these on the Real Real, so I'll link a couple if I can. But styling a summery piece with a 
cardigan like this can really get those fall layers going in your outfit. And then to keep it still a little bit more summery and, and more wearable for right now, I thought it would actually be really cute to layer it with a little mini skirt. I thought it would be cute to do something like this. And I haven't pulled this mini skirt out in a very long time because I, I typically don't go for mini styles all that much anymore like I really love the midi and maxi styles but I love how this looks and it's very summery and cute and girly and obviously I could definitely go for like the high-waisted my like pants if I want to go a little bit more elegant I think this would look amazing with leather pants I keep on talking about leather pants so I think I might need to be on the lookout for a pair of like slim leg trousers or something that are in that leather material because leather is such a big trend this year. And by the way, this cardigan is a size medium and it's from Madewell. Madewell has some really good classic, just neutral pieces that are really great for like basics in your wardrobe. So I really, really love the brand for that. And they're really good quality too. And then the last layering fall essential that I wanted to mention is a turtleneck. And actually I have this turtleneck that I'm renting at the moment from New Leaf and it's very light. So it's not like a super heavy piece. And I think with the turtleneck, you can always go with like the turtleneck sweaters and everything, but a light one right now is essential. Like just having those light layering pieces. This one is fun because it's, it's in a floral pattern, but it's in the neutral colors. So it's easy to pair. It just basically basic pieces with them. And actually this looks really pretty with the wide leg linen trousers. They've got like a very simple but very girly outfit at the same time. You're, you're combining elegance with that girly detail with the florals. I like it. And actually I have this dress from Dish. It's like that linen midi dress style. That's the really cute bow straps in the front. And I was getting kind of sad because I, I don't want to tuck this away for the winter and then style this turtleneck underneath it. And that was kind of fun and different. Haven't worn this combination before. I kind of combined the same color palette, but having those florals in there, I think just really reflects my style so well. So I wanted to share that outfit as well. It's kind of getting creative with what I have and finding different ways to combine layers and the turtleneck I think is definitely one of those essentials that's great to have on hand as we get into the colder months because you can still wear them underneath your favorite dresses depending on the style of them. Those turtlenecks can be nice especially if you get them in those softer neutral colors but also black is a great one. I have a black turtleneck that I love layering up under, underneath like vests and stuff like that so definitely having a turtleneck on hand is nice. That is everything that I have for you in this video. A lot of different very creative ideas that I was just kind of thinking through and I thought it would be fun to kind of share a couple of those essentials to start looking for or start reaching for as we get into the fall season but yeah. Oh and also sharing with you my coat. If you do end up looking at the Santini coats let me know which one you would go for. It was a hard decision but anyway I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.